It's your boy Bones, and this is gonna be my Texas Chainsaw Massacre show. Now, of course, I am from Texas, and this is one of my favorite uh, franchises, and really the main reason is because this is actually the first horror movie that I ever saw, and I was I was pretty little when I saw this, so uh, my uncle liked to torture me, and he showed me this movie and um, The Hills Have Eyes. And uh, I mean, it did scare me, but you know, I ended up in, you know, loving horror movies and so no big deal. But let's do it. This is gonna be The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, A Family Portrait Re Revisited, which is like a documentary. Um, it's pretty old but it is pretty good it has uh interviews with uh jim c dow the cook uh gunner hansen uh leatherface ed neal the hitchhiker and grandpa uh, jim dugan i was a child of the night and then this is my first um original release that i have I think this is a uh, Pioneer, yeah. Pretty cool. And I have this special edition. I had, for a long, I had this one for a long time. And then I do have the meat package. If you uh, feel it, it feels kind of like ground, ground beef. Pretty cool. I was awesome. I'm gonna have this uh, cool old school steel book from uh, what is it? Dark, Dark Sky Film. No. This is like when I first I saw all the tonight. old features. I mean. Uh, Different features like the deleted scenes and all that. It's pretty cool. And I ended up picking the picking up the Blu-ray. I mean, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's awesome. You know, it's so filmed so realistic and creepy. This is that 40th anniversary. Pretty cool. I was a child of and then this recent um, steel book that I picked up at Best Buy. Still sealed. And then my first Texas Chainsaw 2. Man, I watched th this one, I watched it over and over and over when I was younger. Cause it took them a long time to release like another edition till they finally released this uh the gruesome edition this one also has some cool uh, special features of course this introduced us to a uh, chop top who's pretty funny and nubbins when he's dead which is a hitchhiker and i have the blu-ray And the uh, Spring Factory Collector's Edition. Cool. This one has a ton of features. Awesome. And of course, another Face Part 3. I mean, this one's okay. It has some things that I really like. But it has some, you know, some stuff's kind of dumb in it. But that, that wasn't really the director's fault. This has a bunch of cool documentaries. There's even one on um, Ed Gein and uh, you know behind the behind the scene productions and all that. The story of like when they made it, the hard time they had with the director and all. It's a uh, a lot of good extra features on that. And I do have the archive Blu-ray. 
has uh, pretty much most of the same features, I think. I oh, then we get into the next generation or return, which I have a lot of. I have a lot of these, but they pretty much all have different discs, except for like a couple. See, this one's like the, the dual-sided disc, and they had the insert, and then I have two of the same one. I think this one's different. Yeah, see it has the insert and then it has this like a black disc. And then it's another version. See how the disc is different. Then the re-release where they have uh, McConaughey and Zellweger on there. I think this one's the exact same thing. On the inside like dual dual sided disc and then of course the recent release of the collector's edition it does have a little bit of special features but not too many um but you know i'm a collector so i had to have it then you have the remake with uh, jessica beal one's okay. That guy Narnowski played a Leatherface or Hewitt, Thomas Hewitt. This is an awesome, awesome uh, release. You see this a lot, like at uh, pawn shops and stuff. But this one, you uh, open it up. It's like a big chainsaw. And then uh, you have like some evidence photos and stuff like that. And then this, uh, like these uh, metal discs, I mean a uh, metal plate. So, this is a cool release. That was a cool release. Then we have uh, the Blu-ray. I mean, this movie did pretty good at the box office. So they ended up making a prequel. Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. I, was a child of the I like it when the slip is different than the cover. Because, you know, if it has the same cover, it's like kind of redundant. But of course, this had uh, Jordine Brewster. Uh, Arlowski came back as Leatherface. This is the first Blu-ray that I bought, and I remember I bought this at uh, at Sam's Club. Pretty cool. And then this is the second one I bought. This one's unrated. The all right. I have them like this because that's how they were released. But of course, this is the prequel to to this one. Then of course you have the. Texas Chainsaw 3D with uh, I mean this one has a lot of problems but if you could watch uh, Alexandra Daddario with I guess it makes up for it a little bit have this cool blu-ray with the lenticular cover so that's pretty cool I mean, for this one, uh, Dan Yeager played uh, Leatherface. Uh, he did a good job, physical, physically, you know. But the story just, there was no, no saving it, really. I mean, it's okay. Also, uh, Scott Eastwood's in here. It's pretty cool. I was a child of the night. And then finally, the last one is the newest one, Leatherface. I did get it with the slip. Of course, they have Lily Taylor and um, Stephen Dorff. I mean, in this movie, he's he's pretty he's a good actor. In this one, I mean, um, he's pretty intense, and you really believe everything he he puts out there. But the story, I mean, let's see. It starts off showing the family and like they're having a birthday for the youngest one, and you don't know 
exactly who it is except that his name's Jed. And then um, they, they take him away from from her and then they uh, put him in a mental hospital. Actually, this movie, it's it has a lot of really gruesome and, and, and sick parts. I mean, if you like that kind of thing. The escape from the mental asylum is really uh, disturbing. And then you don't really get a lot of chainsaw until the, from the beginning all the way until the very end. That's where they, they have chainsaw in there, but you have to guess who the, who Jed is when he's grown up. But I mean, I, I, I could respect what they try to do with this one. They do show like the cook when he's young and uh, nubbins, but they forgot to show Chop Top. And then uh, the cook, like he, in here, he's like killing people and stuff, but... In the original Texas Chainsaw, he said that he's never been much for killing, so that was kind of weird. Uh, they, they, it was a good try. They, they tried to change it up. You know, people get mad if you try something different. People get mad if you do the same thing. So, you know, you, you're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. But uh, it's, it's an okay watch. Um, I don't know if I'll rewatch it as much as some of the others, but. Eh, every once in a while I'll probably watch it. Um, but anyways guys, that's all my Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.